are en route to Santa Monica to meet the girls in my TSP group who I'll be running from LA to Vegas with. There are six of us and we will be relaying 340 miles. Uh, and yeah, I'm meeting the girls in Santa Monica this evening. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a little safety briefing and like pick up any last minute bits for the race. And then to be honest, mainly just like hang out because we're, we're not strangers to each other, but we're very new acquaintances and we're being thrust into this scenario. Uh, so it's very nice we'll get a day together to like hang. What should we talk about TSP? What? I don't even know what you know about TSP. Obviously I'm terrified. It's crazy. Um, we've split up the distances. I think we're starting off by doing 5K each. So there's six of us. And then we're pretty much gonna do 3Ks for the remaining 340 miles. So that's good. That'll be done pretty quickly. <laughs> we'll just chip away at that, no big deal. Um, I think it was like 46 hours. Yeah. Do, do you know what? Actually, the thing that I'm mostly worried about is that I don't know if I've told you this. We've scheduled us to finish a few hours before I need to leave for the airport to come back to the UK. So yeah. this has to go on time to the T. Like it has to go perfectly, otherwise I don't know how I'm going back to the UK because then we finish and it's supposedly a bank holiday. I think in the no, it's then Easter, so there's no flights for a couple of days. All the other girls are staying in Vegas for a pool party for a couple of days, but I want to come home because I have some other work back in the UK. Um, yeah, let's hope this goes smoothly. To be honest, the other girls are like really excellent athletes, so I'm not too worried about them finishing. I'm most worried about me finishing. <laughs> Everyone around me keeps being like, you don't have to do this, you know? Like, <laughs> well, hopefully by the time this YouTube video goes out, I will have survived and will have got through TSP. <laughs> and if it doesn't, see if I'd like to post this video in my memory. I'll post the bits that you tried to cut out. <laughs> The bits that will get me cancelled, but it won't matter because I won't be live to see. <laughs> to face the repercussions. I guess I'll show you our hotel room when we get to Santa Monica. I'm not really sure what bits I can and can't film over the next couple of days, but I'm going to do everything I can to keep you up to date with everything that we're doing because I actually don't really know what I'm walking into, so I feel like it could be super interesting for us all to figure that out together. It's no small deal. It's, yeah, it's no small deal, but it's also like a big unknown. Do you know how many people are... I actually don't because it's an unsanctioned race, so I don't even know that we're allowed to be doing it. <laughs> we may ask you to bring some towel or something to put over the barbed wire. Okay, Steve actually just reminded me of a kind of terrifying point of the race. I wasn't sure it was smart to tell you, but I think I should. Just to highlight the reality of the extremity we're about to go through. We're running through Death Valley. Yeah. One of the girls in my group sent a message to the chat being like, Hey you guys, you got anything to put over the barbed wire that we're going to be climbing over? Um, so yeah, by the sounds of it, it's not really like any race I've done before. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you and then Steve was just like, maybe you should actually be pretty upfront about what you're about to go through. So, there it is. Hopefully the truth doesn't get me in much trouble. <laughs> and if it does, we'll wander you guys home, you please. <laughs> Breakfast, yep. finish at like 9.30 and get back to the hotel, sort our bags. Okay, so we just got back from meeting all the other girls. Everyone was super nice and they brought me my outfits that I'm going to be wearing for the next few days. So I thought I could give you a little fashion show. Oh, also, look at my, so we are Team Lemonade and it's me, it's my name. Yeah, it looks cool. This is our recovery it's like it's fit. It's embroidered as well. I know. I got the matching trackies. Sick, right? This is one outfit. Maybe we'll do that and that. Yes, that's a good combination. Oh, I really like this. Oh yeah, also we've got choruses. Oh, do show. Come close. See? That's my little Garmin playing up. See, it was time to mix it up and Ooh. go to chorus. I've heard good things about chorus. Everyone that uses chorus always tells me that their battery life's really good, so. That's a cool strap. Is it a Velcro? Oh, I don't know why you're doing that. Promise you're not recording? Promise. <laughs> Dana. Ooh la la. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks good on you. Do I look an athlete? Fits nice. Ooh, back's nice. Right? And this is so cute. Yeah, it all goes good. Option number one. I'm generally someone that prefers black shorts as well. Just in case I like sporadically shit myself and calm my period. These are better. Which quite likely during an ultra. So are they, is this a heavy duty bra? Do you know what? Will it do the job? If your boobs are bigger than mine, no. But for me, fine. 
yeah, you can see there's a tiny bit of movement, but also because I'll have my um, rain vest on top, they'll be held down. Do you know what I mean? I really like this colour. I've recently been told that red's my colour and it's gone straight to my head. Now I feel like <laughs> I should only ever wear red. You know this jumper that I keep wearing? <laughs> the Vogue one. Yeah, this one yeah, that I keep looks wearing cool. in my stories. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. People keep messaging me saying I look really pretty when I wear it and I've put two and two together and it's equated to me looking pretty in red. <laughs> this one looks more like a ultra marathon outfit. The other one looks extremely good, but... But what? Well, it's white and you're running through the desert, the desert at night. It might not be white by the end. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anything that makes you feel pretty, anything that makes you feel good about yourself doing stuff like this is a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. I've got, actually got one extra top that I can show you. Oh. Bit of a wild card. A short sleeve top's probably going to come in handy. I haven't shaved in so long. <laughs> oh, they made a high neck one. So good. I've got this vest, but it comes really low. And because of that, I never wear it. I don't love it, but this is super nice. I'm going to really enjoy wearing this in the desert. I look so cute. <sighs> Okay, we really gotta get them to sleep. <laughs> mm -mm. It's now 11.15 and I know I said that I was gonna go to bed, but listen, we're all athletes here. I need to feed. I need to feed these muscles, you know? Steve so just went downstairs to get us some snacks and I felt like this was a good time to give you a quick room tour because I'm embarrassed to film like this in front of other people, okay? It's just, it's, it, it's never not weird. Uh, so yeah, whilst he's getting us snacky snacks, let me show you our cute little hotel room. Oh, that was the front door. That was me opening and closing the front door. Um, we have like a lounge. I'm not really sure why that's necessary. Hi, me. That's my current shoe corner. That's my current snack corner. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in, what the fuck? Rude. Stanley comes everywhere. This is a very good sized bathroom, I'm into this. I feel like I should be able to get some fun content in here. Also, sorry, big fan of hotel showers that actually have shampoo and conditioner. And then this is the bedroom. This is all my shit that I will sort out ASAP. The great thing about having Steve here for one more night is that he's gonna take some of my luggage home. So whilst I'm running and doing TSP, I won't have to deal with all of this because Steve's gonna fly home with it. Here he is, do you find snacks? So healthy. Goji yeah. boy. What else? Yeah, there was some oh, wait, 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 wait. And there's all different kinds of crips in here. Yeah, they're good. This is for sharing, right? I want some of this. Steve's mad. I've got Have you not noticed that none of the hotels in America have kettles? They don't drink tea. It's not American culture. I just want to go some oats. <laughs> you know, I need more water. <laughs> I'm going to munch on some of his snacks and go to bed because we have a long day. It's Run Street Day 113. It's 6.35 in the morning. All I care about today is getting a couple miles in, keeping the legs nice and loose. I thought it would be really nice if we could see the sunrise at Santa Monica Bay together. How can I say it's an oats at that? I'm going to hate myself for not taking this line tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm not excited. You're excited. Okay, apparently the sunrise is in five minutes. we got to get a move on. <laughs> so cool. Fuck me. Don't do that at home, kids. It is still kind of dark outside. I don't think we're going to miss the sunrise. If you're wondering why I seem like I'm floating on air today, it's because meeting the girls last night was so nice. So basically we got here, I don't know, at like half seven, 8 p.m. And then we got pictures together to like announce the challenge because I think Strava are doing a post for us today. So you needed to send them some content. So we got some pictures together, which was awesome. And I had already met the girls right on main street i already knew two of the girls but the other three uh, i'd met once before everyone's so nice i'm so happy we got the best of the best like i feel like we're going to support each other so well and we're going to put each other through this um and no one like seems to even care about ability In 50 yards, turn right on no one seems to care about ability everyone just wants to survive this we're all just trying to get through this together which is a really really nice kind of environment to be in like 
we've all got each other's backs, you know? Steve made a really good point yesterday that one of the biggest parts of a challenge like this for me, obviously the distance is insane, don't get me wrong, and I'm obviously fucking terrified of the distance, but it's actually quite hard for me to be around people, like groups of people I find really intimidating, I'm a bit of an overthinker, and actually managing the fatigue around stress and tiredness and overthinking is something that I've got to be really careful of. Because the impact is really physical, like I get really physically tired when I'm anxious. I'm sure a lot of us do. But after meeting the girls yesterday, I really don't think that's going to be a problem. Ah, I can see the pier, guys. Yay! I'll show you the pier in a second. Obviously, it's gorgeous, but the thing no one tells you about LA is the amount of homelessness there is. Like, it's so hard to see this city that I always thought was just built on dreams. Like, obviously, it is. Obviously, it's stunning, and I've had the best time here, and I'm really enjoying it. But like. I didn't quite fathom the amount of homelessness here. I am loving LA, but it's just not what it seems in the movies at all. Like, you don't get to see how much poverty and pain there is here. It just seems like this massive city of dreams. Also, it feels like everyone walks around here in the movies. No one walks anywhere. Everyone keeps looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> there she is. Let's go run up there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this in all the TikToks. Ooh, this is a big playground. Ooh. Listen, Steve, I'm not saying that I feel like you betrayed me by not getting up, but if you did wake up, you would have seen this. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> have your lions, hun. <laughs> the sun isn't even awake yet, and I'm just out here doing pull ups. Ooh. I really thought there'd be way more people out here. Oh well, I'll keep the playground off of me. <laughs> Just gotta be grateful, you know. I've got so much energy in my legs, but I think I'm just gonna do a couple more minutes because the only reason I'm really running today is to keep my legs loose. Also, I don't know if you've seen how much I've been traveling. I don't know if you've uh, kept up with my Instagrammy, but like I was snowboarding yesterday and was surfing a few days before. I've literally been traveling around the whole of California and sometimes these short jogs really help to keep me regular. They really help to keep the digestion moving. So just a few more minutes so that I feel super energized and ready for tomorrow morning and also to keep the run streak ticking over, you know? Not the stairs. Ooh. I didn't think we'd actually be able to get up here. Yes! I'm confused at where the sun is though. Hurry up, sis. I want to go back and bother Steve. <laughs> The sun isn't sunning quite how I thought it was gonna, but it's still beautiful. I just have to get back because the girls are gonna meet me at the front desk in about 45 minutes to have our breakfast and go through our strategy meeting. So I should probably get home now. The nerves just kicked in a little bit. <laughs> We're ignoring those. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late and everyone's gonna hate me. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Not too late to give you a quick outfit of the day though. <laughs> This is the fit, I like it a lot. I actually bought this to go hiking in, but obviously where we went hiking, it was absolutely pissing it down with snow. Actually, not obviously. You would know that unless you were following my Instagram. And if you did know that, you're a real one. Feels like a good, a good safety briefing fit though, huh? Now we really gotta go. You ready? I just don't wanna be the last one down then. <laughs> I made it, I'm on time. No one's mad at me. This is Steve, my partner, but the rest of the boys are basically our crew. And they are here to keep us alive over the next few days because what we're doing is, fairly extreme like they have to feed us they have to drive the rv and they basically just need to be our support to make sure that we're healthy fed feeling good and surviving hopefully thriving too <laughs> have you seen that yeah. we're at a team breakfast and i'm going to interrupt everyone's eating so they can tell you who they are and like what they're doing here as part of the race <laughs> wait okay let's start not let's not start with mary okay so jess who are you hi my name's jess <laughs> and i'm a professional eater <laughs> and i'm here to eat yeah. and also run and run yeah i'm okay. here to run jess is one living. of the runners who are you hi i'm laura i'm also one of the runners <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and a Jessica Twain. Also has a really sexy accent. <laughs> uh, I'm Sav. Hopefully you know me if you're here. <laughs> um, I'd be running. 
I'm Amy, I'm one of the runners, doing the producing of the whole content and um, yeah, have planned and executed, everything. nearly executed. And tell us what to do, everything, you yeah. all need that. Yeah. 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 Who are you? Hey, I'm Kieran, uh, doing logistics for this trip. He's going to keep us alive basically. <laughs> Squeezy, who are you? Me? Yeah, who are you and what are you doing here? I am uh, emotional support. <laughs> Hi, who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, I'm Tristan and I'll be taking photos and videos. <laughs> and also keeping us alive. Hi! <laughs> Anya helped organise this. Anya helped put it together. Uh, I don't, uh, I just... <laughs> You're running. <laughs> who are you? Hi, I'm Mary. I'm a runner, content creator and all round. Excellent person. Excellent human. Okay. <laughs> That's the team. I'm going to let everyone eat now. <laughs> and the terrain also looks a bit So again, from a biking perspective. Oh my goodness. I smell merch that I don't need. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to buy. It looks sick. Stay in communication with your runners, share your locations with each other, be clear on where to pick them up or where to exchange. Essentially, as we mentioned earlier, the really, really fancy bathroom scales. Okay. Um, just like any other bathroom scale with a head in there, underneath each of these feet is called a load sail. And that load sail measures essentially distance between a couple of different probes, which lets us know how much force is being applied on there. We look at the change in force that's being applied and we understand how your center of mass is moving. So if we see that force gets lighter, meaning that you drop down. Now we know your depth and your center of mass has changed. Same thing as your force goes up, that means you're now accelerating this way. And now we can measure your descent to your height. And I know your jump height now based off of your velocity that you left the ground with. Okay. So that being said, I understand from across any movement signal, seeing that force to time relationship of how you're moving your center of mass, meaning how much force you're applying to it. Now that I know how much force you apply, I can look at force over time. I can look at power. I can look at different phases of that jump being the braking phase, the propulsive phase, things. So now I have essentially a profile of how you create force, how you interact with force. So across a couple of different tests, we know how you can do it from a static position being like an isometric test which we'll do a hamstring version of that. We have like a slow stretch shortening cycle, being like a counter movement jump. Then we have a fast stretch cycle, being like a rebound jump, a polar hop, and we'll do all three of those. Okay. So across each of those, we'll have a good idea of how you're able to again handle and produce force. And then we're gonna look at how that changes throughout and after the race as well. Okay. Amazing, that's so cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I understand everything that's going on. <laughs> this, is the, this is one of the key reasons we wanted this kind of tech here, yeah. was to be able to measure where the fatigue is happening. Because is it the application? Is it the deceleration? Is it the rate of development? Is it the are you able to break in the same manner? All, all these kind of things that we can pick up and go, oh, that's where you seem to really get worse okay. over this whole race. Because that's what we don't know. So and interesting. How, okay. does, oh, how does ultra really affect the, the periphery? That's really cool. And then awesome. we can go, okay, nothing's actually happened. You're exactly the same pre and post, but your emotional fatigue just drops off a cliff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then probably the fatigue is actually probably more on the brain and the, the endurance side of it, the sleep deprivation, rather than your muscular. And that with glucose, yeah. the lactate, the pace, heart rate, the heart rate variability we're going to get, all those bits and pieces put puzzled together, we'll paint a picture of what's happening. It's actually nice. pretty amazing, this honestly, because so, you know, my background with mostly American field sports, um, let's say basketball, baseball, things like that, we use these to try to find really small nuanced changes in what we call neuromuscular fatigue but they're nowhere near the level of fatigue that you guys are gonna see. And so really having a true state of physiological fatigue that most people don't actually ever get to and having now a much better understanding of what that actually does is at the muscular, neuromuscular level has a much better effect or better understanding for us of really what's happening there versus how much of that is here. As high as you can. doing <laughs> we found out that i'm very athletic <laughs> we can share mm, it's really artificial <laughs> we have to pack up our room because steve's flight home is tonight mm -hmm. and i'm going to share a room with the other girls 
But I just want to show you real quick what I got from the safety briefing. For safety yeah, briefing. All of this was very necessary. Imagine this with like little <laughs> Levi shorts. Or actually running. <laughs> just got the hoodie, which you may have seen me wearing around the expo thing. It just says TSP on the front. This is just a t-shirt that says no rules. Love that for me. So it's the afternoon before we start TSP. It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And I don't know if you just saw those tests that we just did. Well, you did just see the tests that we just did because I edited this video. <laughs> <laughs> the point of doing those tests is to kind of see how our body fatigues throughout doing that kind of distance. We're going to see what calories does to the body during an endurance sport exactly. for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, now we're just trying to get some more calories in us because obviously it's the middle of the afternoon and we wake up in like 11 hours. So probably going to have a late lunch now. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get me through 48 hours. <laughs> It's 8 p.m. Everyone's in their room getting packed and ready for the morning. All of our alarms are set for 2 a.m. I actually just ended up um, booking my own hotel room because all the girls were sharing and like I got super overwhelmed. Like <laughs> the day before a race, I just like shut down and I know it's not a race. I don't even mean a race the day before anything super high stress. I just can't communicate and either get angry or super emotional and couldn't stop myself from crying. So I know everything's just a game. I know everything's gonna be fine. I'm just in that phase where I'm a little bit nervous. So needed a little bit of space. I feel kind of shitty about <laughs> getting the room, but at the same time, like I think that it was the best thing for me um, and it will probably mean that I'm better for my teammates tomorrow. I thought I could actually show you some of the bits that we've been gifted to partake in this feat. Um, so Saucony have sponsored us with like some bouncier shoes, some speed shoes, and some trail running shoes. We've got a heart rate monitor. We also have a Coros watch, which I think I mentioned before. And yeah, apparently they're super good for the battery. And then we've got these Lingo. They're the glucose monitors that you've probably seen all over social media. Now, the reason that we have all of this stuff is because we're out here trying to gain data on women doing endurance sports, Lululemon is sponsoring us and there just isn't enough data on women in sports and we're trying to bridge that gap, which is why we're wearing all of the gizmos. I really need to shower and wind down. I need to chill out, get in bed, say my good nights and love yous to all the people I love and we'll catch you at 2 a.m. in the morning when I no doubt will be very excitable and ready to hang out with the group and do incredible things. Before I go to bed, I just gotta show you one more thing. If you saw my LA Marathon vlog, you'll recognize these sockies. Obviously I need to wear them for the first leg of running from LA to Vegas. They're my lucky socks. T minus six hours. We start running from LA to Vegas, baby. Night. It's 2.36 in the morning. I'm not expecting this to do much. I just want it to make me poop. Keep everything cross with me, sisters. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm great. It's 2.48. I'm meeting the girls in 12 minutes. My body is ready to do this. My mind is ready to do this. I have the best team behind me. Um, go off Team Lemonade. Let's go gather some data for women in endurance sports. Wee, I feel so much better now I'm with you all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Is a pepper spray already in this? Yeah. What a start line. Right. We're going to drive up to the 15 kilometer mark and they are starting the relay. Okay, so I just wanted to pause while I'm editing this really quickly to give you a small explanation. So TSP, the speed project, is a 553-ish kilometer or 340 mile race, depending on the metrics that you work in from LA to Vegas, and you have a minimum of six people on your team, and that distance is effectively split between your team. So whilst one of you runs, the rest of you are as close as possible in a vehicle trying to recover, but obviously it's really hard to recover because you're in a vehicle. It took our team 50 hours-ish, so that's about 50 hours without a full night's sleep. Um, a, lot of team a lot of teams had up to 10 people, but we were a team of six women and Lululemon funded a portion of our trip specifically because we were an all-girls team and less than 7% of research on endurance sports is done 
on females. So we were out there being hooked up to all of the gizmos, which you'll see in the vlog in a minute, having our bodies being studied, trying to increase that, trying to bridge that data gap. Um, we did tests before and after because essentially the key aim was to find out if we would physically fatigue or if the mental fatigue would get us first. Hence the glucose monitors and the jumping tests before and after. I have had so many DMs on my Instagram asking me about the glucose monitors, asking me if I have diabetes. Um, and I'm wary that there is a certain type of person marketing these glucose monitors on social media at the moment. For example, media influencer. And realistically, the people that could actually do with them, the diabetics, uh, being priced out, being able to afford them. So yes, I am aware that glucose monitors are kind of being used to promote diet control and diet culture at the moment but we were only wearing them within this endurance race for the tests that were being done and I personally literally just I just won't need to wear one moving forward just like the majority of people don't because I moved to get out of my head and into my body like I don't need to monitor my insulin spikes um nor do I really understand them but anyway something else I wanted to touch on as we're talking about diet culture is that I had to gain weight to be able to even attempt the amount of physical exercise that I've done over the past few months. And girls, I know that we're taught to shrink, but if you really want to be powerful, you need calories to do so. I've had to gain weight to be powerful and to train as intensely as I have. And it's been really cool. It's been a really great thing. And yeah, it was obviously a little bit uncomfortable initially, but it's felt really bloody liberating. And in my opinion, eating and sleeping a little bit more is one of the biggest things that's overlooked for injury prevention. Is that everything that I wanted to discuss? One more thing, and then I swear I'll let you go back to watching the vlog. There's one section where we were, well, well I personally did a 14 kilometer stint, despite telling you that we were supposed to stick to three ish kilometer segments. Look, all the girls had like a section like this where they did slightly longer than they had expected to. Um, and basically that's because there were a few times where we needed to step in to support each other because our support car or bike could get to us or because we were tired or hurt um and yeah our bike our bike broke anyway because our budget could only cover a beautiful but not necessarily desert friendly bike but yeah they couldn't get to us quick enough and unfortunately that happened to me in the pitch black which is great okay i think that's everything i think everything should make sense now let's go back to the vlog okay okay so we need to go to the Hollywood Museum. Is that it? Oh no, Sunset no. Hammered. Do you know where you go? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, wicked. To say what time we have to. Well, I said I would take it up the pinch top, but it's like 15k. Okay. Do you want to go on it? Oh, why not? Take up there. Take up how are you guys feeling about the fact that we basically start in 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm really nervous about so cycling up this hill. Oh, good point, yeah. We can walk to the top. Huh? Yeah, we can walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Go off, Jess! Nice! Queen! Fuck yeah! Who's taking? Can we start at the top? Yes, 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 Queen! Yes! Yes! We're at the 15k mark, my guys! Okay, I'm getting in the car, I'm getting in the car. Let's go, Queens! <gasps> yes, queens! Fuck yeah! Go on, girls. It was a little bit scarier than I initially realised. <laughs> hey, she's so speedy. Yeah, they're speedy, right? <laughs> we are smashing it. Energy in LA is amazing. All of the teams are cheering each other on. It's just ten, ten. Good vibe. Okay. Do you know what's so fun but actually terrifying? You're literally yeah. you sat on the open road, like <laughs> cars are actually like next to you and shit. Like <laughs> yeah! There's a sandwich shop on route that's giving all the runners free sandwiches? Yeah! Free sandwiches? Did that's someone say sandwich? Someone say sandwich? sandwich? Well, would you look at the vibes? Yeah. You guys, I got to poop in an actual toilet. This is a good ultra. I've had a good time. Uh, wait, okay, so that's all done, right? Done. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys, we're taking over here. So Anna's on this leg. So she will cross her out for now because she's done when she gets back. And then it's me. And then it's this little gal. Yeah! Turn on you. It's me and then it's Amy. Time for my third leg of the relay. 
I just checked my pace and I'm going faster than my marathon pace. I need to slow down and like respect the heat and where I am. I've never had savoury food running before. It's the mm. best. Oh yeah. Uh-uh. Andy, can you please grab me a water? Sorry. Mm, that's right. scared I was of coming yesterday but this moment right now this is the moment I came for look how unreal I'll never forget this moment it feels like an actual dream <laughs> look at it that's real life <laughs> it got dark pretty damn quickly <laughs> just put on the warm AC to high oh thank you it's about 8 p.m. friends uh, and as you can tell it's pretty dark outside <laughs> we were just running outside in the actual pitch black without high vis and head switches on so had to just food <laughs> had to just go back and um oh we didn't go back even the rv came to us and dropped us the bits that we needed so now we're safer we're going to be out here for another couple of hours so hopefully we'll be able to get back to the rv about like half nine and get at least a couple of hours sleep before we start again at like I think I would assume like 10 ish pm. Um, but yeah, from now on, we're just going to be running throughout the night. Christ alive. Uh, but currently, I feel quite delusionally okay. Delulu is the only Salulu. Just got to keep running, just got to keep moving forward. I'm running the 3k I'm in. Uh, I'm not really thinking beyond that. Can't lie to you, this is a little bit scary, but we've got four miles in total until we get back to our IV, and then we have about three and a half hours of sleep while the other half of our group runs. So close to getting some sleep. Yeah, we're about to start our next leg and it's kind of, well, it's the 1am graveyard shift and there's loads of bits where the support car can't actually come along with us. Good morning, friends. It's 4am in the middle of nowhere. I'm not entirely sure what to tell you. <laughs> um, I'm currently on my longest stint and I'm on my own because our bicycle broke so we can't have support on us for the whole um the whole race so i've got about 14 kilometers on my own not a bit nervous about but also i have a lot of energy i feel like i fueled really well i also feel like a lot of adrenaline like i feel weirdly okay and although there is a lack of sleep i'm not really feeling it yet i'm sure i'll crash at some point tomorrow but for right now it made sense that i just keep moving so I am and yeah the crew is waiting for me at 14 kilometers so I'm just trying to keep up their positive mental attitude I literally can't believe that I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere in America running an ultra like that is mad try telling little girl Savannah that she'd be capable of this do you know what that's what's getting me through like the fact that I'm capable of this like me the person that people laughed at for years and didn't want on their team like I'm doing this there's literally no one around me for miles I don't even know that I'm fully on a road, uh, but I have navigation on my maps. I have navigation on my watch, sorry. So I know I should be running in this direction. <laughs> if I can get back before the sun rises, then I can get a little bit of shut eye before the sun wakes me up again. So that's ideally the goal, to just get back hopefully for like half five and to close my eyes so I can get a couple of hours sleep. The thing that's freaking me out is apparently there's a guy up here somewhere that is a little bit scary. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. Everyone's saying that he has like a white sheet on him or something and he's potentially a little bit aggressive. So that's freaking me out a tiny bit, but I've sent my location to the crew. It's not promising, is it? <laughs> okay, there's someone near me. I feel safe now. Yes, thank God for you. Hello, friends. I'm feeling as fresh as can be expected. Actually, I don't know. Very Delulu. Feeling pretty strong, to be honest. My question, my questions, my toenails are feeling somewhat questionable. Um, I'm currently just popping, pop, blah, 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 popping over to the local Taco Bell for a quick piss and a toothbrush and a uh, coffee if they've got one. It's 9.42 a.m. I've had three hours sleep and I feel so, I know I keep saying it, so delusionally good. Just picked up um, a coffee and gonna be straight with you just went for a shit in the face wash in like a local taco bell slash service station um we well my little group of three is just trying to fuel up 
make sure we all feel pretty limber because last night was quite tough on our bodies uh, and feel good enough to get cracking and as soon as we change our outfits and make ourselves look pretty we are pretty much going to be running through like legit insane terrain death valley which strangely i'm actually really excited about my brain isn't really working right now but i'll show you our outfits before we get started hopefully you already know i'm not that good at my job let's see if i remember but yeah this does feel like such a treat though <laughs> we're in barstow Ooh, i have no idea where we are barstow barstow to baker has anyone got any blisters i can't tell you how good this feels i mean i Laura, Mary, Jess, Laura, Mary, Jess, Laura, Mary, Jess, Laura, Mary, mm, probably Jess. <laughs> Time to go run another leg, friend. Oh, oh, no one's with me, just the guy keeping us alive. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine, everything's fine. I keep forgetting. It's the fact that I went to sleep thinking I would want an ice cream after this. I can confirm that I no longer want ice cream. <laughs> I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm so strong. I'm so strong! Death Valley, you're killing me! Ask me if I'll do this again. Ask me. Ask me if I'll come back and do this next year. Christ! I'm literally on the edge of the road on like a mountain and there's like oncoming traffic. There isn't right now, thank God, but like a couple of hours ago, it felt like the drivers just pissed at us. It felt like they were irritated that we were running on like a main road, which is fair, but also they were driving close to us to like scare us. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> we're about 30k away from Vegas, you can literally see it. <laughs> and there's a fucking downhill, I'm on a fucking downhill. Imagine if it was up, but oh my goodness. <sighs> we're killing it! <laughs> Just to give you some context of what it looks like for us. I'm about to finish my 3k of the relay and I think I can see like a car flashing over there. I don't know, you're probably not going to be able to see it yet, but that's where the support car is waiting for me, ready to swap in the next galley on my team. Okay, I think I can see them a little bit clearer now, at least I hope that's them, that car right there. And then, go, go, you only get one shot! I would love an extra hot oatmeal cappuccino. I literally just don't have the words. We landed back in the UK a few days ago and I just don't know how to describe what we just went through. Um, on the second day, <laughs> the lack of sleep really messed with us. Uh, it was definitely also extremely unsafe. A lot, it was fun, but it was not at all safe. Thank God we're all fine. Um, <laughs> looking forward to getting the results back from the test to see how endurance running impacted us ladies. Maybe I'll share my Instagram. Hopefully I get some visibility of that. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I highly recommend TSP if you ever get the opportunity to do so. Actually, I'm not sure if I do because, uh, I mean, it's fun, but yeah, it's just not safe. But yeah, it is really fun, but take me with a pinch of salt, you guys. I'm delirious. Uh, so much love to you all. Thank you for being here. <laughs>